a background on the development of PAES or Philippine Agricultural Engineering Standards. There are now nine volumes of PAES and the drafting of these standards was as a result of the efforts of many government agencies and private groups. AMTEC was one of those government agencies. In 1977, it was established with the objective of improving the quality of agricultural machines by writing test standards and testing these machines against established standards. There are other activities and there are other related government agencies which work on the drafting of other standards, especially agricultural machines. The AFMA law of 1998 has one of its rules, which says the AMTEC may be designated by the department to issue the standards for agriculture and fisheries machinery. And also, the Agricultural Engineering Law of 1998 has one of its sections, which says the board shall adopt and promulgate such rules and regulations, including the Code of Ethics, and professional standards for agricultural engineers to carry out the provisions of this act. In 1998, the Philippine Agricultural Engineering Act empowered the Board of Agricultural Engineers of the Professional Regulations Commission in collaboration with concerned agencies to develop a code of technical standards for agricultural engineering. In the year 2000, the Bureau of Agricultural Research funded the proposal entitled Enhancing the Implementation of APMA to Improve Agricultural Engineering Standards. In the year 2001, the Secretary of the Department of Agriculture issued Administrative Order 11 on the subject Implementation of the National Agriculture and Fisheries Mechanization Program, which is stated among others, HAMTEC, in partnership with PSAE and other concerned agencies, shall be charged with the formulation and development of the official agriculture and fisheries machinery standards. Such standards shall be subjected to public hearings by the NAPSI prior to its approval by the Secretary of Agriculture. These slides explain the various activities conducted in the drafting of the several volumes of PAES. These are the projects implemented by AMTEC, which drafted several volumes of PAES. Project number one was funded by the Department of Agriculture, Bureau of Agricultural Research. It drafted the first five volumes of PAES. Projects 1 and 4 were both funded by the National Meat Inspection Service. They drafted standards for slaughterhouse equipment for hogs and for large ruminants. Project number 3 was funded by the DOST and projects 2, 3, and 4 together drafted volume 7. Project number 5 was funded by DPAD and it drafted Volume 8. Project number 6 was again funded by the National Meat Inspection Service. It drafted poultry dressing plant standards, the Volume 9. So these are the standards and their classifications for a total of 209. Volume number 6 constitutes the farm to market road standards. This is an ongoing project on the drafting of PAES. This one is on enhancement of nutrient and water use efficiency through standardization of engineering support systems for precision farming, funded by Picard and USD, mostly land and water resources standards will be developed. The next one is development of standards for rice production and post-production machineries, also funded by Picard and USD. It will update several standards and develop 
and other set of standards. This shows the procedure by which standards are drafted until their approval. Research and initial drafting standards. Draft standards are reviewed. Draft standards are circulated and subjected to public hearings. Relevant comments and suggestions are incorporated. NAPC endorses the standards to the Secretary of Agriculture. PSAE endorses the final standards to the Board of Agricultural Engineering, PRC. The Secretary of Agriculture issues administrative orders for adoption of files. The Chairman and members of the Board of Agricultural Engineering, with the concurrence of PRC Commissioners, issue the Board resolutions for adoption of files. Files shall be published and disseminated. The adoption of PIES means the Department of Agriculture requires all officers to adopt and comply with the standards as Philippine Agricultural Engineering Standards. The adoption of PLC means PIES are adopted as Code of Technical Standards for Agricultural Engineering Practice and shall serve as technical reference by all agricultural engineers in the signing and sealing of plans, designs, and specifications, and other related works in the practice of their profession. Several standards for agricultural structures have been integrated into the National Building Code of the Philippines. Contents of Standards Standards on machine specifications consist of the following. Scope, fabrication requirements, performance requirements, safety, workmanship, and things, warranty for fabrication and durability, maintenance and operation, marking. For test specifications, scope, general guidelines for test and inspection, test preparations, test instruments, test material, Sample preparation, red test observation, performance test, laboratory analysis, formulas, and the test report. The Article 6, Section 26 of the AFNIC Law of 2013 stipulates that the BAPS shall develop standards for agriculture and fishery machinery, tools and equipment in coordination with accredited testing centers and other concerned government and private entities.